Barnet 1, Plymouth Park by nil. Dean, what are your thoughts on that performance? Great to get through. Um, you can see we haven't played for a couple of weeks. It's been hard for us to get training on the 3G because of the snow. We just look rusty. You miss players like Idris. They give you that dynamicness. Um, and I'm delighted for Pauli as well. He's had a really tough time this year, Pauli, with injury and that. Um, so for him to come on and show his class and get the goal is really good. Full credit to Lee and his team at Plymouth. They made it very difficult for us. Um, you sort of think after Danny Collins' head is disallowed, which is a little bit of sympathy in my opinion, but it shouldn't have been disallowed. It looked like a clear goal from a corner for us. You're thinking it's going to go to penalties. Are they going to get one and snatch one? And they got in down the sides a couple of times. Front two for them were very good, uh, playing on the shoulders. They hurt you from that. Um, from our point of view, we just looked a little bit rusty. Uh, we plenty of chances, which was good, but you just got to get through in the cup and you need a little bit of luck, and we got it tonight. Mentioned about that rustiness, does that two two weeks really play into that? Yeah, huge, yeah. yeah. We have momentum. You know, if you look at the team that started against Wales, I'll say Canu was a massive player for us. Um, just gives us that pace, so he's a miss. But look, full credit to the lads. They kept going. Shields, he gave us all. He had a couple of good chances, put a couple of crosses in. Nicky missed some chances. Yeah, I think Ben Winter could have had a hat trick. So we had loads of chances really in the game, and that's probably what was expected. Um, but like I say, full credit to the opposition. They made it really difficult for us with their organisation. And, uh, and they were a threat on the break all night, to be fair, to the front two. They play on the shoulder and then they can hurt you. So, just yeah, just a little bit rusty, all in all. But great to get through. Delighted. I see there's some shocks tonight already. This is the cup. This is what happens. So, uh, we're delighted with the victory. You mentioned about the shocks in the cup. We've got Sully Hull away in the next round. How, how, uh, what sort of challenge are you going to expect from a fellow National League side who are also up there on the table this season? Yeah, they're the top team. They got in the playoff final last year. Got top manager. Um, very ambitious football club. Um, they're looking to become an EFL club, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, uh, look, we've got other, other fish to fry before then. We've got a massive game now next Monday. Um, so, we'll be in tomorrow. We'll recover tomorrow. The lads will have sort of tours day off. We'll be back in uh, Friday, Saturday and uh, get prepared for for Boxing Day for what is a huge game for us um, we'll just put this in the back corner and I think it's the 14th of January now so plenty of football to play before then Six wins from seven games how well is this team doing at the minute? Yeah look tonight we kept going like I said we just showed character we've got that character we've got that togetherness I've no doubt about that the lads kept going Shieldsy come off a cramp Beardy come off a cramp like I say, we, we haven't really been able to train we've been doing boxing and cycling and a lot of indoor stuff so just to be out and get minutes into a few of the lads' legs. So it was great for Pauli. Hawley, come on, made a good impact on the game as well. Marv managed to get 90 minutes. So, look, it could have gone to penalties. It could have been a bit more dramatic, but it was great to get a goal at the end. So, we've just got to sort of move on to the next game fast, uh, debrief this game tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, we're into the next round, which is great news. And finally, is there a better way in football than get a last-minute winner? And how good was it for Pal to get it at the end? <laughs> I would have preferred we had a one three or four nil. But like I say, it's great for Pal. He's had a really tough time. It's been a long road to recovery for him. Um, he hasn't featured much as all, all this year because of injury. Um, so yeah, hopefully he's back now. Hopefully he can, he can. You know, he's got he's got a lot to prove really at the football club. He's got a lot of ability. He's a very experienced player. Um, and hopefully we can get fitter and sharper and stronger as the, as the weeks go by. So yeah, it's a great way to win. Um, I would have liked to see some more supporters here tonight. I know it's difficult with, with Christmas and that, but our supporters that come on, I thank them for the positive support. Stuck with us, kept driving us forward, and, uh, and the lads kept going, and that's all we can ask of everybody. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers.